Big wheels keep on turning to where the skies are so blue. We going to the Southland, sweet home, coastal Alabama. Turn it up. Are you ready to get away to Southern hospitality, wide beaches, nature trails, Cajun seafood, and lots of water sport fun? Well, the Gulf Shores Orange Beach region might be your ticket to paradise. In this video, we start in Mobile, show the USS Alabama, a brief tour of downtown, a riverboat cruise, then board a helicopter in Orange Beach Head over to Perdido Key in Port McRae and drive back along the coastline. Stop at the most famous beach bar in the country, the Florabama Oyster Bar. Also show the Old River Grill across the street on the bay side. We take you over the Perdido Pass where so much of the water sport fun happens to some of the best beaches in the state in Orange Beach at Alabama Point with super long boardwalks. There are so many boat tours, water sport rentals, and fun, all spread out across Orange Beach, as well as showing the cruise options. We'll give you good info and show you where all the marinas are located at, as well as the waterside eateries at those marinas. We travel inland for two great entertainment districts. First, the Wharf, with hundreds of family-friendly events and activities. And then, to the new and growing park at Oa. Similar to Broadway at the beach, we showed you in our Myrtle Beach video, with an amusement park, a new Tropical Falls indoor water park, and a variety of outdoor adventure activities, theater, and waterside dining in a Main Street style village. In Gulf Shores, show a kayak nature tour, more amusement parks, like the huge Waterville, USA. Explore Gulf Shores State Park with miles of trails and boardwalks, camping with cabins on the lake. We show Gulf Shores Public Beach. Then head west as we end our video at Fort Morgan, where you can take a ferry to Dolphin Island. So join us as we head back to Alabama, then back to Florida, then back to Alabama for some water sport fun with Southern hospitality. Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, a coastal Alabama getaway. From Pensacola, we cross into Alabama on I-10. I don't think any state has a better song than does Alabama, thanks to Leonard Skinnerd. It's a short 45 minute drive to Mobile. We cross over the Mobile Bay, which extends from Mobile to its mouth at Fort Morgan that we will see at the end of this video in Dolphin Island. You can take a ferry across that mouth to Gulf Shores that we'll show later. The top tourist attraction here is the USS Alabama. As well as the battleship, there are aircrafts, tanks, and artillery in a nice, well-maintained memorial park. This ship played a huge role in World War II, including the Battle of Okinawa. It was decommissioned in 1947, and today is a museum you can tour. Admission is $18 for adults, $6 for children 6 to 11. Vets and seniors, $15. Active duty is free. In addition, there's a $5 parking fee. We jump back on I-10 as we enter into the George Wallace Tunnel and go under the Mobile River into downtown. Mobile is the fourth largest city in the state behind Huntsville, Birmingham, and Montgomery. It is Alabama's oldest city was founded by the French in 1702. You can still see the original Fort Condé built by the French. Admission is part of the History Museum in the Old City Hall that is $10 for adults, $7.50 for youth, 13 to 18, and $5 for kids, 6 through 12. After being controlled by the British in Spain, Mobile became part of the Alabama Territory in 1817. Then Alabama became the 22nd state in the Union in 1819. Bienville Square is a historic park in the center of downtown. You can certainly see the French influence in some of the architecture of this city. On the riverfront is the Gulf Quest Maritime Museum with immersive exhibits. Certainly the place to go to learn about the Gulf region. 
We came here for the Perdido Queen. It is $69 for adults, $39 for children 12 and under, for a two and a half hour dinner cruise, add $20 for the observation deck. They also have a jazz brunch cruise that is $10 cheaper. A look down the Mobile River and Mobile Bay. Way in the distance is Gulf Shores and Fort Morgan. We now move to the main area of our video, Orange Beach and Gulf Shores. First to Orange Beach to catch a helicopter. Rita and Jessica at Hang 10 Helicopters. Very helpful and friendly. Arranging for my flight, so let's hop on board. Taking off over Perdido Beach Boulevard. We fly over Perdido Pass. We'll come back here later to show you more of this area. Hang 10 has several tours from a five minute Florabama flyby that is $98 for two people all the way up to a 30 minute sunset tour that is $518 for two people. And that is what I did. Even though it's not sunset time, I took this tour because it goes all the way to the Pensacola Pier as we showed you that footage in last week's video. We fly over Perdido Key, now back in Florida. A look at Perdido Key State Park. Escambia County Public Beach Access 1, where Perdido Key Drive turns up north. On the east side of the key is Johnson's Beach National Seashore. The road ends at Johnson's Beach, and it's about four miles to the end of the key, where Fort McRae is at. So, if you want to see Fort McRae, you could either walk for eight miles round trip, or rent a boat, which we'll show you in a bit, or take a helicopter ride, like I am. Much easier than the two to three hours of walking. There's Fort Pickens we showed in last week's video. Near the Pensacola Pass is the wreckage of the USS Massachusetts. We turn a little inland to Perdido Road where I'm going to jump out and meet up with Bella who has driven my truck for me on the other side of the Intracoastal Waterway. Here I go! Thank you Bella for driving. Now we drive over the Intracoastal Waterway back onto Perdido Key, still in Florida. On the right side, the Perdido Key RV Resort and Marina. We enter Perdido Key State Beach that we showed you from the helicopter. And now arriving at the Floribama Oyster Bar. This famous beach bar sits on the Florida side of the Alabama border. The parking lot is across the street, as well as the Floribama Marina and the Old River Grill, which has elevated waterside dining on the riverside. The Old River Grill has a better menu for dining than the beach bar across the street. At the Floribama Marina, you can rent jet skis or regular pontoons, 350 for four hours, 500 for eight hours. Or with a water slide, just add $50. They also have these cool floating splash pads that the kids will love, $50 for four hours. You can add it to a pontoon rental. The Floribama Yacht Club also here, a nice little beach area. Now we go across the street to the beach bar. They have a limited menu with burgers, oysters, tacos, and sandwiches. Although it was a little crowded, the line moved quickly and didn't have to wait too long for food. I tried the Cajun oysters. Really good, but not very filling. So I also had the shrimp tacos. Plenty of options for dining overlooking the Gulf. Regular quality live music here. There is a boardwalk crossover out to the beach. A smaller bar on the beach. This is literally the border of Florida and Alabama. At the Floribama Bar is where Perdido Key, Florida becomes Orange Beach, Alabama. Another two miles down the road is the western tip of Perdido Key Island. Located here is one of the best beaches of the Gulf Shore regions, if not the best. Alabama Point East Beach, Orange Beach City Limits. There is a parking lot a quarter of a mile from the point, and a large lot at the point, as well as more parking under the bridge. On busier days, you can also park along the road leading into the parking lots. Alabama Point East offers over a mile of wide beach area, so plenty of space, not overly crowded. There are large sand dunes, picnic areas, restrooms, outdoor showers, and a seasonally operated food truck. Super long dune crossover boardwalks, both out to the Perdido Pass side 
and a longer one out to the golf side. On the beach that is on the golf side, you can find shells. In August and September, there are jellyfish here. Also, a jetty at the corner of the island. The beach on the Perdido Pass side, excellent for watching all the boats coming in and out of the inlet. You can also go across the Perdido Pass. On the other side is the Gulf, an outdoor seafood restaurant that is made from old shipping containers. There's a much smaller parking lot here, but certainly your better parking is going to be on the east side of the Perdido Pass. Just a little bit north of the Perdido Pass Bridge is Robinson Island and Bird Island, wildlife sanctuaries. On Memorial Day and Fourth of July weekends, you'll see hundreds of boaters here, partying it up on the island and along the intercoastal waterway. No dogs or pets allowed on these islands. You will need a boat to get there though, and if you don't have one, you can rent one at the Carib Marina. Located on the north side of the bridge. If it floats, this marina has it. Pontoon rentals in season are 350 for four hours or 500 for eight hours. Jet ski rental, 125 for an hour, 220 for two hours. Rentals available for up to five hours. You can also take a tour on these two person cat boats with Orange Beach cat boat tours. Guided tours are $175 that last 90 minutes, or rent the cat boats for $99 an hour. Includes two riders. There's a glass bottom boat tour here, as well as Carib Cruiser Dolphin Tour. $35 for adults, $29 for children 4 through 12. As well as Carib Marina, there are several other boat tours all spread out around Orange Beach city limits. Crossing over the Perdido Pass, Gulf Shores, Alabama, another five miles in the distance. Just a half of a mile from the Perdido Pass Bridge is the Fun Boats. A daytime two-hour dolphin cruise is $26 for adults, $18 children 2 through 11. A sunset cruise is $30 per person, all ages. Also located here is Sail Wild Hearts, where you can ride aboard a 53-foot open catamaran. An afternoon or morning cruise is $30 plus tax for adults, $20 for children 3 through 12. For a sunset cruise, add $7. Cruises including kayaks and snorkeling also available here. Another half mile down Perdido Beach Boulevard is Zeke's Marina, where you can cruise with dolphin tails. $18 for adults, $12 for children 12 and under. Add $4 for a sunset cruise. There is a restroom on board. We now move to the other side of the bay, to Happy Harbor Marina. Here you can rent these pontoons with water slides for as little as $360 for four hours or $520 for eight hours. Taxes are included in that rate. Also here is Shoot'em Up Parasail. It is $85 for a flight or $40 if you just want to ride the boat and observe as well as Happy Harbor Marina. They also have locations in Gulf Shores and Perdido Key. We move further north across Terry Cove to Hudson Marina at Skull Harbor, where you'll find a couple of more boat tours and a great restaurant. It is here you can board Orange Beach's fastest tour boat, the Screaming Eagle, as you soar at high speeds in the Gulf and Intracoastal. It is $59 per person for a 45 minute cruise. Full ahead. Also here, you can take a swashbuckling pirate adventure on the American Star Pirate Ship. Oh, matey! Kids will defend the ship in a gun battle, sing songs with the crew, and search for lost treasure. So much treasure! It is $39 for adults, $29 children 2 through 12. Shiver me timbers! As well as rentals and cruises, there's a great waterside eatery. The Avenue Pub with elevated waterside dining, serving handcrafted food and local beer. Now to our last marina, located on the northeast part of the island, Bear Point Harbor. The very popular Oso restaurant here with tables right on the water. A good place to watch the sunset. 
They have a large menu of coastal food, seafood, burgers, steaks, and more. A very large tiki bar on the harbor with live entertainment. You can rent jet skis or go parasailing here with Alabama Extreme Water Sports. Jet skis are $99 plus tax for an hour or $180 for two hours. Or try a 90 minute wave runner guided dolphin tour, $160 for up to three people. You can also take a dolphin cruise with cold mail fleet, $25 per person for a 60 to 90 minute cruise. From Bear Point, we go further west along Wolf Bay in the Intracoastal Waterway to the first of probably the two best entertainment districts in the south. First up is the Wharf with a variety of family-friendly activities throughout the year. It features a large amphitheater with top name artists, an upscale AMC theater with 15 auditoriums, the largest Ferris wheel in the region. Main Street with over 28 shops, the Arena Arcade. At nighttime, there's a laser light show, along with a fun train ride for $6. And of course, a variety of eateries. In the center is the Villaggio Grill with patio seating serving Italian and American dishes. Where's me rum? Well, I'm glad you asked, Captain Jack. It's right here at the Yoho Rum and Taco Bar, overlooking the Intracoastal. There's other restaurants too with patio seating on the walkway along the Intracoastal overlooking the marina. There's also the Oasis at the Wharf, which has a wave pool, a lazy river, a lagoon pool, waterfalls, and a spa. You have to be staying at the vacation condos here for access though. For lodging, you can book through wharfcondos.com. And there's cruises here as well. The Sunny Lady tours the scenic back bays of Orange Beach. It is $28 for adults, $24 for children four through 12. Toddlers three and under, $7. There's the Cetaceans Cruise with a 90 minute sailboat on a Hawaiian catamaran. You cruise through Wolf Bay and the surrounding waters with Caribbean music and a cocktail bar on board. $40 for a daytime cruise, $55 for sunset. They also have the Explorer that is $30 for daytime and $40 for sunset. Now back on the coastline, three miles from Gulf Shores is Adventure Island, an amusement park with go-karts, bumper boats, laser tag, a mini golf with an erupting volcano, and a large arcade. Also here is Bubba's Seafood. That's right, wasn't Forrest Gump from Alabama? Now heading inland on the Foley Beach Expressway, where the other huge entertainment district is located at, downtown Oa. This recreational area features the Tropic Falls theme park with Rolling Thunder a long roller coaster that travels across the park with drops, twists, turns, and loops. Also, just opened two days after we posted this video is the Tropic Falls Indoor Water Park. It is $26 for the theme park that includes 23 rides or $63 for a combo ticket that includes the indoor water park as well. There will be an outdoor water park opening later in the summer of 2022. The main street part of downtown Owa is a vintage southern style pedestrian shopping dining district around lakes. There's fountains for the kids, a distillery for adults, waterside restaurants for everyone, Lucy's retired surfer bar like what we saw in our Key West video. There's a Paula Deen's, a taco bar here as well. The Owa Theater features legends and concerts, a live music venue, as well as a vintage style theater for movies. Gravity Island Water Sports allows you to wakeboard, wake skate, kneeboard, or go tubing while being pulled by a cable. They have first timer packages that will coach beginners. The Aqua Play offers water play on two inflatable obstacle courses. An old fashioned ice cream parlor to cool off during a day of fun. Oa is still very new and growing. This will certainly be one of the top places in Gulf Shores to visit, if not number one. We stayed just three miles from Oa at the Days Inn on Route 59 in Foley, Alabama, a convenient pet-friendly hotel where you can park next to your room. Rooms recently remodeled. Bella said the grassy areas were really good. Route 59 is your main road that brings you to the beaches of Gulf Shores from I-10. Just three miles from the beach and now in Gulf Shores city limits, on Highway 59 is Lulu's Cafe. 
We saw one of these in our Myrtle Beach video. It's a festive waterfront hangout with casual eats and drinks, plus beach activities, adventure courses, an arcade, and nightly live music with dining on the river. Lulu's Like the Wharf sits on Portage Creek that connects Wolf Bay with Ben Secor Bay. Next to Lulu's is the track. It features a mini golf with waterfalls, six go-kart tracks, blaster boats, kids' country rides, the high-flying coaster, the spinning coaster, and a large Fat Daddy's Arcade. I'd show you more, but can't fly a drone because the airport is right next door. On the other side of Highway 59, Pirates Island Adventure Golf. $14 for adults, $10 for children 4 through 12. Two minutes west of Lulu's is Oyster Bay Marina, where you can take a kayak nature tour with wild native tours. It is $65 for adults, $52 for children under 18 for a three-hour kayak, dolphin, and wildlife tour. They also have powered boat tours that depart from the Battleship Causeway in Mobile. Now driving over Portage Creek, there's the Southport Campground on the right. Just under a mile from the beach is Waterville a 20-acre water and amusement park. For the water park, it is $34, or if you are under 42 inches, $26. For the amusement park, it is $7 for the go-karts, $5 for mini golf, $6 for trampoline, an escape house for $25, and $15 for the flow rider. Wipe out. In between Waterville and the beach is Wade Ward Nature Park, with a long elevated boardwalk. It allows you to view birds, otters, pelicans, and an occasional alligator in a pocket of natural wetlands and waterways. <music> Route 59 Gulf Shores Parkway ends at the beach. We are gonna turn left. The hangout across the street, which we'll eat at later. But for now, we're gonna head a mile and a half west to Gulf Shores State Park first. Then we'll come back and show you the beach and then head east to Fort Morgan. There is no charge for the state park. On the right, parking for the Gulf Shores State Park Pier, which is $3 for two hours, $5 for four hours, or $10 all day. Admission to the pier is $3 for sightseeing, $9 for fishing. However, for anglers who pay the daily parking fee, there's no charge. There's a concession area for food and drinks on the pier. This was the second longest pier in the Gulf until September of 2020, when Hurricane Sally collapsed a 200-foot section at the end. It is being rebuilt, but until then, you still have 725 feet of the pier that is open. I want to show you a great place for coffee here. It is the Roasted Oak, located inside the lobby area of the lodge. They have baked items, light bites. I'm going to try the spinach feta. What makes this place so great is they have a back patio with rocking chairs, so you can enjoy your latte overlooking the sand dunes and the golf. The lodge at Gulf Shores State Park is a Hilton hotel. It has a spectacular beachfront location. There's an on-site restaurant, bar, pool, fitness center, and a boardwalk extending out to the beach. Three quarters of a mile west is Branyan Beach at the end of Campground Road. The campground is across the street, we'll show you in a bit. Another half mile west is the Beach Pavilion, which has a seasonal concession stand, restrooms, showers, picnic tables, and is wheelchair accessible. Cost of parking is the same as at the pier. We now move across the street from the lodge to the Lake Shelby Park area, where the trails and rentals are located at. There's also a dog park here. You can rent bikes, kayaks, or take a Segway or kayak tour with Coastal Segway Adventures. There's picnic pavilions and barbecue grills. Also a large playground. Let's hop on a bike and show you the extensive trail system within the park. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. 
Riding with you in the sunnier days I wouldn't want it any other way Gulf Shore State Park has over 28 miles of paved trails with many long scenic boardwalks. Seven trails that go into the Branyan backcountry area. Trails are well marked. You go through live oak trees with Spanish moss, might see an alligator along the Gopher Tortoise Trail, along Lake Shelby, nine distinct ecosystems within the park. It makes this a great place to camp. There's RV camping with 496 sites with full hookups, tennis, pickleball, horseshoe courts. I put a link below for campground info. Also nestled within the park on the other side of Lake Shelby are a variety of cabins from fully furnished units like the Eagle Cottages here, right on the lake, to more basic cabins. This is not your average state park. It is massive and plenty of lodging options. Okay, getting hungry. Let's head back to the public beach and grab a bite to eat. Gulf Shores Public Beach has pretty decent parking with a lot here on the beach side and an overflow lot across the street next to the Alvin's Island Souvenir Shop. You don't have to walk very far compared with other major beaches of its size. This is the central area where Highway 59 dead ends at. Gulf Shores has these open air shaded pavilions and picnic areas. They are nice, we'd like to see more of them. Also the beach is handicap accessible, there are four long ADA crossovers. Lounging rentals. You can rent two chairs and an umbrella for $40 a day, which includes tax. It's a wide beach area, plenty of space. Here's Shoot 'em Up Water Sports again. This is their location at the Pink Pony Pub. It's the same $85 per flight rate here, but you take a banana boat out to the parasail boat. Further down is the Sea and Suds, a longtime Gulf Shores favorite. A seafood eatery in a rustic boardwalk patio right over the beach. You can't beat the view. They have fried zucchini you have to try. I want something quick, so I'm going to the hangout here at the center of the beach, where Big Will is going to hook me up with a grouper platter. They have a variety of seafood and burgers. Okay, we're almost done. Let's head west to Fort Morgan. Some of the other restaurants in the area, the Picnic Beach with barbecue and comfort fair, and the popular 50s style Sunliner Diner. On the way to Fort Morgan is Bon Secours National Wildlife Refuge, which encompasses some of Alabama's last remaining undisturbed coastal barrier habitat. You can kayak in the Little Lagoon. Launch at Jeff Friend Kayak Launch. There's miles of trails along dunes, wetlands, forests, and scrub habitats. Among them are the Centennial Trail, Pine Beach Trail, and Gator Lake Trail. On the right, Bon Secours Bay. On the left, plenty of quaint, colorful beach cottages that you can rent through Harris Vacation Rentals. We arrive at the end of Route 180, at the ferry to Dolphin Island. But first, let's show you the fort. Fort Morgan named for Revolutionary War hero Daniel Morgan. It's a 19th century military fort with tours and displays related to Civil War history. It is $8 for adults, children $5, or a family of two adults, two children is $20. The Mobile Bay Ferry arriving from Dolphin Island. It is $15 per vehicle, RVs and those with trailers $20, motorcycles $7, pedestrians are $6, and bicycles and pets are included at no extra charge. This ferry connects Route 180 at Fort Morgan with Route 193 at Dolphin Island. They operate on a first-come, first-served basis. For live updates, see their Facebook page, I put a link below, or call them. So there you have it, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. I know many of you watch us on your TV and may not view the description, but for those of you planning a getaway here, I think the description will be helpful, especially with the addresses and links, because many of the businesses' websites, I found it a little difficult to actually find out where they were located, where do you board a certain cruise. 
I spent a lot of time getting that info, and more so on this video, to help you. Golfshores.com and the Alabama State Parks website, surprisingly so, had good detailed info. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Gulf Shores Orange Beach region. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We do travel promos across the USA. If you would like to hire us to film your city, region, or resort, or for footage, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. From Alabama's Gulf Coast, in the words of that great philosopher from Alabama, I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Home is with you wherever that may be.